Hi everyone. Um, I was going to record this in the car, but I forgot that like I had ice cream and that took priority. So I had to get home first and put the ice cream in the freezer. And I'm so glad that I had decided to get myself ice cream because I had to reward myself again. But I, I didn't know this to begin with that I, I was rewarding myself. So like I'm at, I'm at Walmart. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I call it wall fart all the time. If you don't want to listen to a score store escapade, just, you know, don't listen to this one. This is where my interactions come from. I'm sorry. Um, so I haven't been to wall fart in like months. Well, at least that's what I remember in my head currently, unless like I had something bad happen there recently and I just kind of blacked out or blocked it out or something, but I'm not trying to, anybody that's listening to this that works at Walfart, like, I am not hating on you um, at all. Like, it may sound like it, but this is just my frustration with, like, the people process. Um, and so I don't mean to, like, offend you. Hi, Bidgie. Oh my god, I'm sweating so bad. At least I don't feel nauseous. I'm having, like, such a hot flash. Multiple hot flashes. Why did I decide to go to Walmart? You know, because I needed a fucking pillow. That's why. And so did Alicia. Her pillows are, like, flat as fucking pancakes. And I, I don't know how people do it. I'm a stomach sleeper. I need to have, like, a little bit more than flat. Wait, what am I going? Where am I going with this? Sorry. No pillow talk. Oh, that, well... I needed to go get pillows. I'm not going to re-record this. I was just about to. Because, like, I do that sometimes. Like, pretty much every time I start off, like, don't know how to get my words together. And then it takes me five times before I can get going. I'm just not going to do it this time. So, sorry. Um, like, I just... Our pillows have not been great. I've been too lazy to look online because I'm very specific about my pillows. Like I saw, I usually like to feel them before I purchase them because it's a whole thing. Like that's where I put my head. It's important that I get the exact right pillow. And, um, I've been wanting a new pillow for like weeks and weeks. And I just have like, I don't know why I haven't done anything about it. Just lazy, I guess. I don't know. Um, and Alicia doesn't give a fuck. I don't, I don't get it. I don't know. Sleeps on like paper thin fucking blankets or, or pillows. Um, but I got her one too. And so Walmart was the closest place that I know how to get to because guess what? I've lived here for several years and I only know how to get to like a handful of places on my own. Uh, other, otherwise, I just, Alicia and I go out to the other stores. I don't, A, I don't know how to get to and B, I don't want to learn how to get to because there's too much traffic on those roads and I get confused. So Walmart it was. And I also had to get her distilled water for her CPAP machine and chocolate and some other things that I wanted and so I was gonna leave the house and go to Walmart for the pillows and then Wegmans for like the other stuff and then I realized I can just I can just get all that shit out at Walmart like I'm, I'm not making two stops if I don't have to so I'll just get everything there um and I usually, like, I do not like going to Walfart in person, especially the one, like, around here, which baffles the fuck out of me, because I live, like, we, we live in a good area, and the Walfart is, like, not that far. It's, like, seven-minute drive, and it's, like, a completely different environment at that Walfart. Like, what the fuck? Is it just the Walfart itself? Uh, Walmart, sorry. Walfart, Walmart. It's Walfart. Um... Is it just the store itself that I, I don't know, is just break, like attracts like weirdos or something, but like I'm also a weirdo, so I don't know. Uh, so like I go to Walmart and I have my little list written down and um, a grocery bag slash box thing. Like it's one of those fold out box. I don't know how to explain it. It's not a grocery bag, but it's like it folds into like a sturdy square box with handles that it holds stuff way better than like a bag does. I don't know if that made sense. Um, and I had that with me because I knew I wasn't going to get a lot and then I got a cart. So I go in there and I swear it's like, 
Oh my god, like, hi, honey. Wanna say hi? That's bitchy. Guess not. Um, what was I saying? Okay, I go to I go into Walmart. I get I have my cart, and I'm speed walking because that is my normal pace. And it's so nice when Alicia's not with me because she walks like a fucking turtle. I hate having to wait for her to walk. Um, but anyways, uh, so I sped walk and I was like, this is great. Just going to go in, get this shit and leave. It's the middle of the day. Who the fuck is really going to be here? And then I forgot, oh, it's Walfart. Like everybody can just be here. Like I, it doesn't matter what time you go. So I head to the pillow area first. I tried to remember where that was because they switch things up in there a lot and it never, it never improves anything. So I had to go searching for pillows and then the side that I was on to go down that aisle was blocked by this couple with their fucking cart and their FaceTiming somebody about a fucking pillow. Like, I get it, but like, you're blocking the entire aisle. And then I'm just standing there, like, obviously, getting, like, I need to go down that aisle. And they're just looking at me, like, oh, and I'm like, don't mind me. And then I just like, I walked down the other aisle to go around so I can get to the aisle I needed to from that, that way. And I don't know what is happening. I don't know if like, I'm trying to resurrect my old self. I don't, I know, I don't want that person to come back. Um, I've just been feeling a little bit like, I don't know, um, short tempered at the stores with dumb people. And... So I was just like, okay, I probably shouldn't have said that, but it's too late. And so I went down, like I said, I went around and then I go down the aisle and then I had to like, you know, pick, it took a while for me to pick out the pillow. And then I had to get Alicia one too. Um, and so I did that and then they're just like this entire fucking conversation with this person about whatever pillow they're talking. I'm like, are you fucking dumb? Like who's doing this in the store? How is the pillow like of that vital important? Like I don't get, maybe you're autistic and I'm just a dick. Maybe that's what's going on. And they're just trying to be like really, really specific about what they want to buy, but fucking rude, rude, like rude. When you go to the store, you need to have some common fucking sense. Do not block aisles. I'm so tired. I'm so tired of going to stores and motherfuckers are blocking aisles, standing in the middle of them, and then looking at you like you're the fucking weirdo that needs to go around. Like, move. You don't own the aisle. You don't own these stores. Just, it's like the fucking road. Like, get in your lane and let people pass. I don't understand why that's so difficult. I don't understand why people are so self-absorbed when they go to stores that they're only, like, thinking about their space and what they take up. Like, come on, man. Or maybe they're not thinking about that because then that wouldn't make sense. But, you know, they should be thinking about that. And I'm, I'm, I'm tired of this. I got the fucking pillows. I don't even care that I got them at Walmart. I, they're like gold right now. I'm looking at them. I'm excited to go to sleep. I am so happy I have something that does not feel like a potato pillow because um, my sleep has, my sleep's fucked up usually, but it's even worse when I don't have the exact right sleeping environment and I've needed a new pillow. So there's that. So I got those and my mission was done with, with the pillow and then I needed to go to get the distilled water which was on the complete opposite side of the store. And I'm trying to be better with like, not just spending money to spend it. Cause like, A, we're not rich and B, like I'm not a child. So <laughs> I just limited myself to chocolate and ice cream. And I know that sounds like a lot, but like when I go to the store, I will walk out with that and I will walk out with like a thing of Celsius um, a box of cookies, maybe one of those chickens that are like in the rotisserie thing that are ready to eat. And then a thing of like Bob Evans mashed potatoes, um, some wax melts. And by some, I mean, at the very least five packets of wax melts. Um, I will just grab shit. Like I'm a toddler. Like I just, Oh, I, I like this. And I put it in the carton like that. I don't want to do that. I didn't do that today. I'm very happy about that. No, I did get like two things of Celsius in the checkout line, I, I, but I was bored, but we'll get there. And so here I am traveling to the other side of the store, staying on the outskirts where I thought the majority of people wouldn't be because 
it's like the longer way to travel the store. I don't know. But there were people everywhere. And I was feeling very much like I used to feel when I would drive to work in like traffic time. And I had this rage because people don't know how to drive. They don't know how to drive properly. Oops, sorry for the dry mouth. I just took a sip from the Celsius I was talking about. Um, who knew? I needed all these treats for the terror that I just endured. Um, and so I get the distilled water. I'm, I went up and down the same aisles like three, four times because like I was like looking for Celsius and it didn't look like they sold it there, but it was in like the checkout aisles or whatever. So that was annoying. And then it was extra walking I did not have to do. And I got my chocolate because I have to say, Walfart is the best place to get chocolate. It's so fucking cheap. And it's the same shit that I get at other stores, but it's like two bucks cheaper at Walfart. Um, honey. Oh, you want to say hi? <laughs> You're so cute. That's bitchy again. Um, yes. So distilled water, check. Chocolate, check. Um, and then this is when the problems start, like they always do. And so I was over by the bakery area, which was on the very far side of the store, um, looking to see if there's anything I wanted and there wasn't. And then I had to walk past all of the self checkout lines, the ones where you have to scan your own shit. There are so many. I swear it's like tripled from the last time I was there. There are so many and they have these lights that are like, you can't miss them. It's like very clear that they're for self-checkout and they're like beckoning you like, come, come use this. And I've talked about that before. I'm not doing that. Not fucking doing it. I don't care. Um, and so I walked past like 20 of them, it felt like, to get to the two aisles that had cashiers. The two that had the lights on. There were only two cashiers working. And there were so many other empty lines where cashiers could be working. And it's not even that they're hurting for people. Like Walmart's been doing a bit better in this area as far as like hiring people. So I don't know what the hell was going on. So my mind started going to like these places. So anyways, I picked like one of the two lines because there was people waiting in there in the lines. And I'm pretty sure there was like two people ahead of me that all they had was a DiGiorno's pizza, <laughs> that frozen pizza. That's all they had. And there was this person in front of them with a cart full of shit and they were somebody some store person came to tell them hey like you can go over to the scanner and like do that and the guy was like we don't want to and they were nice about it and I was like oh it's not just me <clears throat> excuse me also I was a little bit irritated like they only had one item you didn't give them shit for saying no I always get shit like I got more to today but uh, anyways I was like good for him for saying no um Years and years ago, well, let's not go that far back. I would say, like, up until, like, I started freelancing, which was five-ish years ago, six, five years ago. Prior to that, when I would go to stores, I would be a fucking bitch. It was like, let's look for the shortest line possible. I need to get my shit and get out because, like, I was tired of being out at work all day. And then I had to make a stop at a store before I went home. And it was always, always frustrating. And I was always like, I'm in a hurry. And now I realize mostly because of like freelancing and like I make my own schedule and I don't have anywhere I need to hurry up and go. And plus remember, like I leave the house to go to stores because like, you know, I do like to get things and also I do not want to be a shut in. Um, I'm not deathly afraid of that, but you know, I got to make sure I still get out there. And... I forgot what I was saying. Can you hear her purring? Oh. I'll give you your treat soon. Um, sorry about this. I forgot. I totally forgot where I was just now. Oh, I was in that line. Oh, here we go. And yeah, so like I had my cart, two pillows, and like just a few items. And I'm standing behind the people with the pizza. And a different store person comes up to me. And says, like, points to the self-checkouts. Those are open. 
And I'm like, oh, really? Oh my God, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that because people looked at me. The people in front of me looked at me. The people behind me looked at me. I, out of the corner of my eyes, I, I just, I could see their heads like what? Like turning my way. And I was like, sorry. Like, I know that they're there. I don't want to, if I wanted to be over there, I would be over there right now. And I'm choosing to stand here. So like, what are you going to do about it? Um, and I, I, I did say that last part, but I said it nicely. Um, and then the person was like, uh, apparently nothing. I'm not, I'm not going to do anything. And then left. <laughs> oh my God. Um, was I very, was I mortified? No, no, because my irritation level was like at an all time high because of all the fucking people I had to weed through in that store to get to the checkout. And I created stories in my head about, okay, so there's 20 scanners open for people to do their own shit. There's only two cashiers who are working to scan other people's items. They're going so fucking slow. Are they doing this because they're trying to get people to get everybody to just scan their shit forever and they're going to do away with cashiers? Like, is that, is that what's going on? And they told the cashiers, we will pay you extra if you go as slow as possible scanning these items. Just go as slow as possible. Make sure you irritate the fuck out of the people in line. And they'll get tired of waiting. And then they'll go over to the checkouts. And before you know it, nobody's going to want to be standing in line for a cashier. Is that what's going on? Because I convinced myself that that was the story. And then I became a rebel in my mind. And I'm like, nope, I am going to rebel against uh, whatever I created in my head that was going on. And so nobody else knew that this was happening inside my head. But it was. And so people like forgot, I guess, that I talked or chose to or whatever. And like went about looking through their phone and blah, blah, blah. But like, we're waiting to go up and get our items scanned. And the lady behind me, I don't know, maybe she was like, and she was an older lady. I did not, I don't know what she looked like because I don't like to make eye contact with other strangers. Pretty like, yeah, I, I don't like to do that because if I make eye contact with somebody, then it's like, I feel like I'm trapped into having to talk to them. Um, and I, that's how I avoid small talk in lines unless like somebody else initiates it and then I just have to deal with it. But so I knew she was like an older lady cause she had like white hair and she was like tiny and a little bit hunched over. Um, but she kept like, she kept, um, like her cart, she was standing next to her. I don't know how to describe our body positions, but basically like this bitch was like so close to me, like so close. She was almost touching me like with the front of her body to the side of my body. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, is this lady blind or something? Like, I don't think so. I don't see a dog. There's no seeing eye dog. Like, why is she getting so close to me? And at that point I was aware that like I was turning into the person I didn't want to become again because normally I would be like, get the fuck back. Like, get the fuck back. Why are you this fucking close? And I created scenes in stores for years. That was me. I was the scene creator in the stores. And I didn't want to be that. So I just pretend like, you know, maybe this isn't happening. And I'm reading too much into this situation. But I wasn't. So, like, I position, positioned my cart so it was between her and I. And I don't even care what she thought about that. Because I don't like people getting that close to me. Um at all. And then like I go to get my stuff scanned and I'm like, oh, I'm so close to getting out of here. And the fucking cashier wants to have like a conversation. Like, oh my God, did you see the basketball game and like the college women's basketball game? And I'm like, yeah. Oh, wasn't that so great? Blah, 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 blah. And like they're talking, she's talking, but not scanning. And if you're not scanning and you're talking, like, I'm going to get pissed. So I was thinking my short answers would clue her into stop fucking talking, scan my shit, and let me leave. But no, 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 no. Nope, you wanted to have a conversation with a stranger and today was not your day. And, like, then she goes, not very talkative today, are we, sweetie? What is up with the fucking sweeties? Like, if you, like, I do not look like a sweetie. I don't look like a sweetie. 
what is the definition of sweeties? I'm tired of being called that. Like, I have 20 tattoos. I have several piercings. It's, like, short-ass hair. Oh, my, like, what the fuck? Like, I'm not a sweetie. And it, Like, I hear sweetie and I think of Disney princesses or some bullshit like that. So where is this coming from? Sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. Like, stop. Stop with that word. Stop. I would have rather her have said hun. Like, hey, hun. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. It's the popo. She doesn't like it when I get loud. Oh, man. That was embarrassing just now. Um, yeah. I'm not going to lie. I kind of, I don't think it was a blackout. I think it was like a, something happened in my mind and I sort of forgot like two minutes of that interaction. I don't, I didn't do anything because no police followed me out of the store. So, but like right now, as I'm trying to think back, like there's, there's like a couple of minutes of that interaction. Like I conceded my mind, but like, I don't recall what was being said and maybe that's for the best, but you know, like then I get the crazy looks like the, or the people that look at me like I'm crazy. And I'm not, I'm not crazy. So after the humiliation of that and like, you know, finally I finished checking my, my crap out and then I left and like, I'm trying to get the fuck out of there. Like a criminal's after me or something. Like somebody's going to come shank me if I don't get the hell out of Walfart. And so like, I'm speed walking. I'm like halfway to the entrance and I'm getting closer and I'm getting closer and I see the greeter person at the entrance to the wall fart, the person who you pay to maybe say hello to people that come in, usually not, and also maybe check your card on the way out, make sure you're not stealing anything, and maybe not. And today was my day to have my cart checked. I had two ginormous pillows and a little like box thingy full of a few items from the store and the receipt in my hand. And I get closer to the door. I see the person's going to choose me to target. And I was like, fuck. Like, I don't even have a TV. I don't have anything that would require a Walmart person to stop me to make sure I'm not stealing. I have two goddamn pillows and like a thing of water and some chocolate. Like, what the fuck are you on about? Like, come on. I'm not stealing. But yeah, I handed over my receipt. And I'm thinking, okay, let's do the pretend look. I'm going to pretend I just looked at this real quick. And in a matter of like a millisecond, I memorized everything on here that you just bought. And I also searched through all of your shit in your cart and made sure that like all of those things were the only things that were in your cart. That's exactly what I did in that split second. So yeah, no, that second turned into like five and then like 10. And then I'm thinking like, what is wrong with this person? Um, And then he starts like, yeah, so it's pretty, like, warm out. And I'm like, are you serious right now? And he's like, what? Do you, what? And then I realized I was being mean. It sounded mean. But, like, I like, why are you asking me about the weather? Your job is to look at this fucking receipt and, like, pretend to look to make sure I didn't steal anything. Because nobody ever truly looks. Nobody looks. And you want to ask me about the weather, like the most cliche thing, like the worst small talk conversation ever. Why are you like creating small talk when I'm trying to get out of the fucking store? I felt like Walmart was a video game and like I was just trying to make my way through the fucking maze to get the things that I needed. And all these people obstacles just kept like preventing me from like being a sane person just walking to this around the store and like buying shit and like paying for it and leaving like like everybody else does like why do people have to like oh is there like some some neon sign over me that that's like oh i have not been out of the house in like three entire days even though i was just out yesterday but sometimes that's how i feel like oh we know this person hasn't been in public for a long time let's welcome her let's remind her why she's a recluse now or whatever the fuck that word is Oh, I hate people, but I am so glad I got my pillows. Oh, and and Leisha's going to be happy too because she doesn't even know I went and got new pillows. And, you know, I'm building it up in my head that she's going to be as excited about hers as I am about mine. And I am right now quelling that because she doesn't get that excited about stuff like this. (laughs) And, like, I'm already excited to go to sleep later because I want to sleep on my new pillow that I know is not going to, like, give me a neck crook. And so... 
uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to go back to Walmart in a while unless it's with Alicia. And unless we go to the one that we have to drive a ways for. So like, there's the one I just talked about. That's crazy town. And then there's one that is like a 15 to 20 minute drive. And it's in like the bougie part of Syracuse or like, or near Syracuse. And I did not know that there were bougie Walmarts and like her and I will just go there. It's worth the drive to be around normal people who just do shopping and leave you alone. Do I know how to get to that one by myself? I do not because I would go there if I did. Um, And I don't care to use the GPS to try to figure it out. So that's my store skipade for today. I'm so happy to be home. That sucked. Um, I'm so tired of, like, I can just, no, I'm not going to complain anymore. I just, I got it all out. That's that. I have stuff I have to do. And I'm going to go eat some chocolate now to reward myself for a hard day's work at Walmart. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.